So going through high school and a little bit of college, one of the things I struggled with in chemistry was the difference between Charles' law, Boyle's law, and Guy Lussac's law. And it wasn't that the concepts were especially hard or too complicated. It was more confusing each of the equations because there's three separate equations and they all kind of look the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through uh, something called the ideal gas equation of state in order to simplify the understanding and hopefully make it a little easier. So what you've probably seen is this, PV equals NRT. And what this is called is the ideal gas law. And this is wrong. Nope, nope, nope. It is not a law, it is an act. It is not a law, it is actually an equation of state. Because it does not apply to gases 100% of the time. So a law in science is like Newton's law of motion, where an object in motion stays in motion. And that applies for every object in our known physical realm. And the ideal gas, saying the ideal gas law is a law says that every single gas follows this equation and that's not true but I digress whatever um, so instead of calling it a law just call it the ideal gas EOS same amount of letters so if we divide by moles we can get PV equals RT and in this way V is just the specific volume so it's just big V the regular volume divided by moles. So basically, as one side of the equation goes up, the other side of the equation must go up. And as one side of the equation goes down, the other side of the equation goes down. And that's what's called pro being proportional. So P is proportional to T. And V is also proportional to T. Let's just say a scenario where temperature is constant. So this is just a number. And the ideal gas equation, or, and the ideal gas constant is always a number. So what we're left with is that PV equals some number. So if we go ahead and, and apply some numbers to this, we can see that PV, let's just say it equals 100. That's simple enough. So if we let pressure equal 10, and we let volume equal 10, we can see that 10 times 10 equals 100. But if we let pressure equal 5, then what will volume equal? So we do a little bit of math. We can see that 5 times volume equals 100. And if we divide by 5, we can see that volume equals 20. So what does this say in terms of P and V? So as pressure went from 10 to 5, volume went from 10 to 20. So what this says is, as pressure decreases, volume increases. So what, what this says is they're inversely proportional. So what we're left with is as pressure goes up, volume must go down. As volume goes up, pressure must go down. So we put all these together, we get that P, P with T, and then T with V. See as pressure goes down, temperature goes down. And as temperature goes down, volume goes down. And as pressure goes up, temperature goes up. And as temperature goes up, volume goes up. So instead of remembering three equations, just remember one. One equation. And that would be the ideal gas equation of state.